Welcome to this SkillPad video resource where we make learning fun. In this video we are going to look at weathering and its role in slope development. Have you ever paused to consider why mountains appear the way they do, or why some landscapes are flat while others are undulating? The answers lie within the fascinating processes of weathering and slope development. These processes, while seemingly simple, are the result of intricate geological phenomena that have been shaping our planet for millions of years. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks, soil, and minerals, as well as wood and artificial materials, through contact with the Earth's atmosphere, water, and biological organisms. Just picture a grand mountain range gradually wearing away over time, its once jagged peaks slowly becoming rounded and smooth. Weathering can be classified into three main types, physical, biological, and chemical. Physical weathering, also referred to as mechanical weathering, involves the breakdown of rocks into smaller pieces without any changes in their chemical composition. This can occur through processes such as freezing and thawing, whereby water seeps into cracks in the rocks, freezes, expands, and subsequently breaks the rock apart. Biological weathering, on the other hand, involves the disintegration of rocks due to the physical or chemical activity of living organisms. For instance, tree roots growing into cracks in rocks can cause the rocks to split. Lastly, chemical weathering involves the alteration or decomposition of rocks and minerals due to reactions with atmospheric or biological chemicals. These weathering processes result in various unique landforms. Inselbergs, for example, are isolated hill or mountain rising abruptly from relatively flat surroundings. Tors are large, freestanding rock outcrops that rise abruptly from the surrounding smooth and gentle slopes of a rounded hill summit or ridge crest. Born hearts, half domes, weathering pits, fins, caverns, rubble fields, slopes, hoodoos, alcoves, and arches are all products of weathering. Now let's switch our attention to slope development. It refers to the changes in the gradient of a slope due to factors such as weathering, erosion, deposition, and human activity. Slopes can be categorized into steep or gentle, as well as concave or convex. These are basically slope forms and can be classified according to the four-unit or nine-unit models. The process of slope development varies greatly in humid and arid areas. In humid regions, slopes tend to be smooth and rounded due to the high rate of chemical weathering and the removal of weathered material by water. On the contrary, in arid regions, slopes are often steep and angular due to the dominance of physical weathering and the lack of water to remove weathered material. In summary, weathering and slope development play crucial roles in shaping the Earth's landscapes. In the process, slope decline as they are washed away, undergoing replacement in some cases, and parallel retreat in other cases. They not only create visually stunning landforms but also significantly impact the Earth's ecosystems. Moreover, understanding these processes is of great economic importance. Weathering, for example, contributes to soil formation, which is vital for agriculture. It also influences the stability of buildings and infrastructures, thus affecting urban planning and development. So the next time you marvel at a majestic mountain or a sprawling plain, Remember the intricate processes of weathering and slope development that have shaped these landscapes over millions of years. They are a testament to the Earth's dynamic nature and a reminder of our role in preserving these natural wonders. Thank you for using this SkillPad video resource. We hope it helped you appreciate the concept of weathering more profoundly. Keep on using more of our video resources on this platform to expand your knowledge. We hope to see you again soon.